Welcome to Tech Binomial. This third part of the series is about how to use the angular grid with the ionic angular application. First, take a quick recap of what we did in part 1 and part 2 of the series. In first part of the series, MySQL database TestDB was developed with a simple table user. The Node Express server connect with the MySQL database to perform the database operation. So here we are starting the Node Express server. The message displays here is server is running on the local host. In the second part of the series, Ionic Angular service was developed which sends the request to the Node Express server to perform the crude operations. To use the angular grid two dependencies are given so let's start by installing the package ag grid community and the second package ag grid angular in the home.module.ts file import the ag grid module and in the global style sheets, import the styles and the themes that needs to be applied to the data grid. Initially, we can set the grid size. Let's set the 4 pixel. In the HTML, add a tag for the data grid. Set the width and height to 100%. Apply the class which is the theme already imported in the global styles, row data, column definitions and the default columns. In the type script, take the reference of the angular grid using the view child. Initialize and declare the row data and the column definitions. The column definition consists of the field names which match with the uh, MySQL data. We can also set here the uh, max width or width property header for the column as well as if the column is editable we can set it to true. For the grid set the property sortable and the filter to true. The gate users method retrieve the data from the server. Call this method on init so that when the application runs the grid display the records. As sortable and filter properties are set to true, we can sort this record as well as filter. So the filter is applied here. Set the pagination property to true and page size to 3. Set a edit type so that the full row can be edited. On grid ready event here. button click event to add the new record to the grid.
take an empty row data item and apply the transaction to add then the row value change event and the, on the row value change call the add user method of the service we check for the id if id exists it means record uh, is already there if no id it means it's a new record insert the values check in the mysql yes the record is added to update the record call the update user method of the service update the value of the existing record and this record is updated in the data add a component button renderer to render a button in the grid we use this button to delete the records here yeah, just follow the guidelines given to develop a renderer component for the ag grid implement the interface here the parameters will return the record for which the button is click we set the component as a standalone component in the typescript file in the column definition add one extra field for the delete record button define the delete record method here which take the record id and according to call the service method to delete the record in the html of the component we add the trash icon so click on any record delete option in the mysql we will check whether the record is deleted or not yes it is deleted wrap the data grid into one div element and set the height and width into the percent in the global styles import two more themes apply the themes in the data grid tag this is how you can change the themes Don't forget to like and subscribe our video and channel. This will motivate us. Thank you.